welcome back to another episode of Minecraft War. In today's episode, I am going to be showing you the new base that we've had for a very long time. I've just decided not to show it off yet, even though I understand other YouTubers have, especially on my team, obviously. But I personally haven't shown it to you guys. But the reason why we're moving out of here is because today, technically today, but maybe tomorrow for you, this base is going to be blowing up to smithereens. Well, that's that's what JTOM is apparently going to do. Basically, it's a big old long story. JTOM is planning to bomb us. He met us up in spawn. He said to us, he literally said to us, um, w tomorrow or whatever, which is today, I'm going to bomb you. He said he's going to let us know when he's going to bomb, bomb us. And I guess the only way to really stop him, which we don't really care anyway because he let us know, is by finding the place where he's about to launch the bomb from, which... Could be literally anywhere. I think the range, it could be like a thousand blocks away. He could literally launch a missile from a thousand blocks away if he really wants to. So there's no way, unless he's left it on the surface, that we are going to find that. So that's not going to happen. But pretty much he let us know. And he's basically just getting revenge for me blowing up his base last episode. I said to him, you know, I will just move my stuff out now. And he said, yeah, that doesn't matter. I just want you to move base. Fair enough. <laughs> So, we are actually moving base. Now, it's not like we're homeless. We actually have a base. So, JTOM, I don't know if JTOM knows about this, but JTOM, if you're watching this, or, uh, may, well, you shouldn't be, but uh, it's okay. You're going to waste your missile. Unless you have a master plan to blow up the other base that we have. Genius. Because right now, I think you're going to bomb this base. Because I don't know if you know about the other base. Or do you? But anyway guys, welcome back to Minecraft War. Today, I guess, is an evacuation episode. Basically just getting our stuff out. Should be nice and chill. And uh, as long as JTOM doesn't mess with me in the next few minutes, we're good. See, I have to, it's it's up to JTOM. Whenever JTOM wants to blow the space up, that's his decision. Now, I do actually want to just say something, guys, just before we get into this episode. Just to clear up some questions, everything like that. A lot of you guys comment down below, why are some YouTubers ahead and why are why am I behind, for example? Like, why are some, like, I've seen this episode before. Basically, what's happening is here, is I'm recording much more content than these other YouTubers on the server. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just literally grinding hard for you guys so you do not miss a day at all. And what happens is, let's say so much stuff goes down in one day, all throughout the day. I'm online recording that, and you might be like, throw that into one big episode. Well... It doesn't work like that. I still have to edit videos. I still have to, you know, do all the work. And if I recorded one big video all day, you would have no video for that day. Confusing, right? Well, anyway, all I want to say is I'm actually doing a lot of work and that's why I'm ahead. So if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch any of the other YouTubers videos. If you don't mind, go ahead. But anyway... Let's get into this episode. I just wanted to explain that because people are like, why are you ahead? Like, or why people were calling me lazy, even though it's the opposite of lazy because I'm literally working hard for you guys. Like, I'm making sure that I do not miss an episode. You will find that these, like, that JTOM and all these other YouTubers and stuff that aren't pre-recording will miss episodes because this series is very dependent on other people. It's a social show. And if you find a dry spot where people don't log online for the day, like at the moment, the server is not very busy. You could be stuck for content. You could be really stuck. And you might be just saying, oh, build. And that's great and all, but you like the juicy stuff. But anyway, um, so we're basically going to move everything out to the new base. I'm also going to show you the new base. But first, we're going to drop everything off. Uh, thank the Lord that we haven't had too much stuff stored up in this base. And I've got a master plan on how to move it all. Uh, because I found out and um, I, I, I got Geki to make me this plane because I thought it had lots and lots of storage, which it doesn't. It doesn't have any storage at all. I assumed it did. Actually, we need to really hurry up because actually any minute now we could get bombed and I don't want that. Like, JTOM could be- is he online? He's online. So JTOM- JTOM wasn't online a few minutes ago, so that's actually quite bad. But JTOM could be watching me right now. The missile silo could be in that hill. I have no freaking idea. But um, if he me he's basically just going to message me saying, goodbye, goodbye your base. So I need to move everything out really fast and then I'll chat afterwards. But uh, basically, this has no storage. No storage whatsoever. So I've got a bit of a master plan. I'm going to move as much as I can into this container. Then I'm going to, if I can, I'm pretty sure that's what I meant for. Then I'm going to hook this container to the plane and I'm going to fly the plane and the container together. If that works... Genius. 
But anyway, while I'm moving this out, if you do enjoy the show, don't forget to hit that like button. Honestly, it really motivates me, really helps me out. And I'm glad that you guys are absolutely enjoying the show because I am, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm, I am addicted to the show. I absolutely love it. It's so fun to record. It's so fresh. And no, it doesn't beat factions. It's completely different to factions or any other series I played. It's just super fresh and very unique. Now, we need to figure out how to do this right because I was someone was telling me this is possible, but if you hook it up wrong, the plane will actually be attached to the container and not the um, vehicle. If you get what I mean, basically what it means that I won't be able to fly. Right, there we go. Now, all I hope is, I think that's connected. All I hope is that we don't lose the container halfway as we're flying across the world like they will literally someone randomly on the server will literally come across it question see we don't have any runway in this space and that's the reason why we're moving as well the new base is amazing can i just say that it wasn't just let you guys know it wasn't my base it was actually true joshi's base that we're heading towards and basically it was amazing so we decided i asked like can we use this base as the main base and he was like sure and he's currently working on a nice runway as well right uh let's give this a shot shall we so, we've got the container hooked on. Oh my god, if we lose this, it's going to be so bad. Right, please, 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 please. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Come on. It's fine. These planes are okay. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're bringing the container with us. Okay, so we've got about 4,000 blocks to travel. I'm not sure. Well, we've got a decent amount to go. I think he said it's 4K out, so maybe 3K blocks. So that's how far we have to travel with this thing below us. But uh, this is not the this is not the only thing you can do with chains. You could literally hook a tank to this if you want to and have a person in the tank and any moment I could drop the tank and boom, you can have an air supply drop just like that. But instead of supplies, you can have a tank falling on the enemies. <laughs> literally amazing. I cannot wait to do more stuff with this. Look at it. That's so cool. Look at it hanging. Okay, so we're coming up to the base now. I hope you guys are happy with the new base. I definitely cannot wait to defend from attacks on this. It's going to be so good. Here is the new base. Now, we're going to try something really cheeky. Now, we have to land at our airport, which is currently in progress, but it can land there. I'm going to try to dismount it. Okay, we need to figure out how to dismount it. Okay, so I guess it's only with certain planes that you can actually drop from. Because I remember, I think I was using the AC-130 and I dropped it from there. And I, I remember pressing Y. But maybe maybe there could be a keybind conflicting with it at the moment. That could be true. But anyway, so we're going to land here. This is the runway slash airfield that we're working on. It's a work in progress. True Joshi is using a... What's it called? It's a, a, it's basically like a big suit he's in. It's part of the flans mod and basically it can clear out a big area quite easy ah it's perfect okay right so we've landed and my container has glitched into the ground will it come back up that's what i want to know that's the main important thing container okay okay how do we do we add literally have to go digging for the container okay the container's in the ground okay we just popped the container oh great oh no I have nowhere to store this, except some hoppers. All right, so we managed to find the container after sifting through a load of stuff. I was kind of scared that it would clear lag, but then I realized that actually doesn't happen on the server. I'm pretty sure if you throw something out, it will probably stay there until the server restarts. So you're probably good. I was probably good. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park this up in case someone steals it. Basically just look cool. <laughs> and also, you know, a nice pretty hanger has been made right here. So I might as well use it. It doesn't fit, but who cares? Who cares? It's fine. <laughs> but the cool thing about this mod compared to Flan's mod is I know this is such a simple thing, but you can actually turn the vehicles around and drive them on the floor. With Flan's, if you move a little bit, you will basically start to take off. But with this one, you can actually drive. All right, so there we go. So welcome, guys, to the new base. Um, breathe it in. It's a great little place, I know. Um, so just envision, right? So this is our airbase right now. Our little camp is up there. Uh, it's really cool. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But just envision this, all right? This is currently being made. That's going to be our runway area. We'll probably have a big, huge runway right here. Come on, zombie dude. You're already dying. Don't come for me. Come on. Okay, he just had to come for me. But just envision we're going to have hangers all along here. 
Probably helicopter landing pads. Maybe a control tower up on this hill if we don't flatten it out. Because maybe it'd be a good area for it. But just breathe it in. Take it in. Because who knows? In 10 episodes from now, this base might not even exist. There's a chance of it happening. There really is. Also, this is True Joshi's um, Osprey. Which looks amazingly cool inside here. Has he done that to detail? Because that is perfect. If he's made those little gaps in the walls just to fit the blades in that is so cool because look at that it just fits it in my plane next to his plane looks really bad do you know what we should actually have that parked out in the runway so we can escape if we need to but look we're not gonna get nuked today i don't think so this is the base like honestly this is such a well defended like defensive base like it really is just naturally so this reminds me of like a really campy kind of vibe of a base. It feels very rustic looking and I really like that. I don't know why. It just feels, I just, I just love the way it is. So we have the main storage center here, which I will be moving my stuff up to shortly. <gasps> oh, okay. Lupine LMS uniform. Okay, we're going to stick that on because the armor we're wearing right now looks amazingly cool. But is not amazingly good. But this armor, this armor is pretty good. And also, you look like a freaking ninja. So I will take that. Thank you very much. And also, we're at war. So I can't really be running around in armor that you can pretty much easily die in. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I need to find out nuclear weapons. <laughs> That's so sad. We don't have any. But anyway, if we did have any nuclear weapons, they wouldn't be here. They'd be in the vault. Okay, let me just stick this in the random chest stuff because I'm too lazy to sort it out. So we have the main storage center here. We're all a team. I don't. We don't really have personal rooms. We have the nugget smeltery, um, which is a very, very useful part. This thing can make us gunpowder for days if we so wish to. It's a pretty good thing. And then over here, we have the chicken nugget overlord a domination. Okay. I, I honestly, I swear this was named something else earlier, but obviously it's been changed. What's this? Some gear for the Nugget Overlord, True Joshi. Holy smokes. Okay, um, so he's given me a portable UAV controller, RC Goblin, the Scout Plane, which we already had, we've already used, you've already seen, and a Negev. Now, that's not a new Negev, so I don't know if they're as well, but thank you very much. I guess I'll use it whenever I need that kind of stuff. But if you guys don't know, we actually, when we did the scouting on um, J Tom's base the other day in that video, we actually took off from here. But when we did that, this wasn't all flattened out. So we just about took off that vehicle. It was, it was pretty tough. But anyway, this base is very, very well air defensed. Like, if someone wants to attack us with a plane or a helicopter, like, at the moment, they can, they can probably destroy us, which is fine. But when these are locked and loaded and ready to go... These bad boys will lock on as long as someone's actually up here manning these. Which, if someone's attacking with a plane or a helicopter, these are the first places you want to want to get to. But, see, the thing is they're not OP. Because if you do the right attack, like let's say someone attacks your base the right way, their main mission should be to disable these three uh, turrets as fast as they can. And then they can start the bombing runs. But look at this. This is locked and loaded, ready to go. I, I kind of want to fire it just a little bit just to show you. But as you can see, it has a radar on the right-hand side, which you can use to detect enemy vehicles coming in, of course. But obviously, if someone's around here, a plane might be hard to shoot. But a helicopter, it'll be pretty easy to shoot down. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to waste too much ammo, but oh my god, it sounds like a freaking beast. So yeah, this is the base. It's very, I, I absolutely love it. I love the biome it's in. I love how it's surrounded by a bit of a desert, but then also, what do you call this biome again? A Mesa Plateau? Is that what it's called? It? That's what it says on Optified anyway. But imagine if someone didn't attack it with vehicles and came on foot. We would surely have the advantage. And the great thing is, if you look around, there's no big hills where anyone can kind of snipe down into you. So... It's a pretty good base, and you can see why we took this off True Joshi to actually capture this and obviously take it as our own and use it as our main base. But this is the scary thing. Now, J Tom still hasn't messaged me. I don't want to message him yet, but if he knows about this base, which I don't know if he does, then maybe he might be planning to blow up this base instead. So let's hope not. Let's hope not. I kind of hope he wastes his missiles on the current base that I have. All right, so like I said, 
you will most likely, unless it, he decides to do it right now, you will most likely see whatever is going to happen with JTOM in tomorrow's episode. But maybe we might be able to intervene it, or maybe it's going to happen now. Who knows? I have no idea, guys. I'm sorry. And you might be like, oh, please put it into one big episode. It basically... I could stop recording now and there could be it could be four hours later when JTOM decides to do something. It all depends on when he messaged me. That's why the episodes are actually so broke up. But what we can do to make this episode longer and to do more in this episode is we can go looking to where JTOM could be hiding the vault. Because he has to be in at least a thousand block radius. At least a thousand block radius of our base. And that really doesn't help us. I'm just going to shoot this ammo out because I don't need it. I want to have a freshly loaded gun. But if we can find it, we can not only just stop blowing up his base. We can maybe steal the missile from him and use it on his own base. Now, I'm going to try see if I can get a uh, twin to log online. He was online a few minutes ago. But um, basically get him to come along with me because we actually might run into JTAM because... He's probably, he's been on for quite a while. He's probably setting it up. It takes a good bit of effort to set it up and to also hide it at the same time. Oh my god, I have got the perfect idea. If J Tom is setting up his missile factory or wherever he's firing from, I might have just a vehicle that may be able to find him, but it will be absolute potluck if we do. I just, how did I, how did I not forget about this? I was basically going to go take the other plane. But we could actually use this plane to try and find... Twins just came online. Oh my god, it's going to be perfect. If you guys don't know, I'm going to show you now. This plane can actually track mobs and people. And I believe it can track people underground as well. We were testing it when we were first setting up the mods, messing around with planes. And we found out this plane can actually do such a thing. How did I not think about that? Okay, actually, I just realized this bad boy drinks fuel. So we're going to need more fuel. Now, j has been pretty quiet. He hasn't messaged me yet. He's been on for quite a while. Just as I start recording, he came online. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to see. But he hasn't messaged me. He could mess me right now. But at least we're flying over there. So we're ready for it. I do want to make sure I'm there for it because I want to see it. It will be cool. Yeah, I want to see what missile he has. Haven't seen many. Okay. So was I that? was originally... Is that? Huh? Oh, that's a container. That? That's my stuff. Oh, okay. I was too lazy to move it up, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, so oh, okay. I was originally going to take this plane out to go looking. You know what I mean? Like, or any plane. But then I realized <laughs> we have this one. Okay, hopefully it fits. We have this one. Oh. So you want to give this a shot? I Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do. <laughs> Let's do this. See, like, look. See on the left-hand side, there's mobs coming up. See, actually, uh, wait, does it track players, though? It definitely, when we were setting this up, in the, I don't know if it actually does. Run over to the hangar there. I think it is, but the radar is, like, off. Like, it's not straight. Like, when you were coming towards me there a second ago, it was kind of like, it was, like, left more than anything. I don't know, actually. Is it not tracking? It was definitely tracking players before. Maybe it doesn't. Look, it doesn't matter. We're going to be looking anyway, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Actually... Let's think about this. My gene, I love how I had this genius idea and I was so hyped. Think about it. If we see, we're seeing red radars everywhere, we're just mm -hmm. going to think it's a mob. <laughs> so we need to look for clues over in that. But anyway, should we take this plane out for a spin anyway? I think we should, yeah. The only thing is we're going to have to, how are we going to land it? Oh, crash landing if we can. Yeah, let's go for it. Sure, look, it might help us. Who knows? Like, I just want to say right now, I'm like five feet in front of the airplane, like, from my view. Actually, I don't know if we can... Oh, I... Oh, God, please, please go up. Please go up! It's not going up! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going. As long as it's not water, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a terrible time with planes that take off. Last time we almost hit some trees, dude. Okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's is this just... the wrong plane to bring? Like, I don't... Like, I'm looking at the map, right? So, it definitely tracks stuff. And I swear, I think it was tracking you because... But I, I don't think it's, like, entirely accurate. When you were, like, right in front of me. Do you see the radar, what I'm talking about? I... I there's nothing's popping up. Oh, yeah. wait, a gray thing. Does. Yeah, there's a green thing. Okay. So, what does green mean? It's gray for me. Oh, it's green for me. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But basically, when you were in front of me, yeah. it wasn't straight. It was on, like, the right-hand side of the white line sticking out. So it's not like exactly accurate by the seams of it. Look, I'm not really fussed if we don't find him, but it would be epic to steal his own missile and then basically go blow up his own base. 
<laughs> set the coordinates for his, and he's like yelling at us. Just like, steal it. You're going go, down. Just steal it and go set it. Or, yeah, or even change the coordinates if he has it all set up and ready to go. <laughs> oh my god, that would be the best episode ever. Okay, right, we're, we're home. Oh, yes. Oh, we need to land this thing. Right below below his base, remember? Below oh, yeah, 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 yeah. base. Because that would be a good idea. Because they're meant to be, apparently, I think they're allied of some sort now. Oh, actually, this would be a good chance to test to see if anyone's hanging around the vault. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. Because uh, is Instagram likes online? No, he's not. Uh, he was earlier. No. But so, okay. I was going to say he might be hanging around the vault. Oh, there's green stuff popping up by the vault. Uh, I don't there's see anything. three green dots by the vault. Yeah, I saw that. I just don't see anything. Okay, just keep a lookout. Because uh, he, sh he might be launching somewhere around here. Okay, I feel does... like I really want to test Call Me Bill's base. Can you see anything suspicious there? Just can you zoom in on anything? Can you see I anything? Deal with, I don't really see anything suspicious at all. Like, it just looks like how it was before. Yeah, oh, it wait. does look how it looks before. It doesn't even look modified. I think it looks... Does it... Uh, no, that's just like a cave. It doesn't look changed. Like, nothing... There's no even cobble down there or anything like that. So, unless he's moved off with stone every single time. It doesn't look like he's done anything. Um, there actually has been people down there that have stacked up. You can see cobble, like if you're looking at, are you looking in the camera mode? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. I just don't know if that was there before. I swear that platform or cross was there. I've been there a few times. Yeah, hey, you know no. what? For once, I'm zooming in right what? here. For once, there's no um, there's no signs at my vault. I can see with the camera. Oh my god, it's a <laughs> miracle. Yo, you can get some <laughs> zoom on this. I'll tell you that. Better not be fine. Yeah, I know. I keep doing too. <gasps> it's it. What? 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 I think I just figured out a long-term mystery. Maybe I should have asked him. What? You know that nuclear bomb or that whatever went off here? Mini nuke or whatever? Yeah. I think I found who was testing with it. Who? Obviously, j -Tom. No? Makes Poss sense, right? Yeah. Poss yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Are we going to find this? No, not really. We could literally be flying all day. And this it's not like it really matters. We've moved base. He shouldn't have yeah. let us know. It would have been more exciting if he didn't let us know and actually bombed us when we were in there. Yeah, like said he wants to meet up and like he's like, hey, it's coming. It's like, what? Yeah, that was This good. bomb! Or, or imagine if we met up with him and he's like, you have 10 minutes to get back to your base and move everything out. Literally, you had a 10 minute timer on. Oh my god, that would that, be... The ugh. suspense, dude. I wouldn't risk Did it because you... I would feel like it would go in there. Oh, look yeah. at this. What has been going on here? Like, we are definitely against nukes. Like, what? Uh, it's definitely a bomb of some sort. Yeah, yeah, That's definitely. That's literally wiped out nearly all the trees. Let's see here. Okay, do we just leave it? Do we just head back and just go and come back on foot? Uh, I think that would be a good bet. Okay, so the last option that we have, uh, because we're only assuming that he's launching from, um, launching near our base, which maybe he's not. And um, he could be launching from his own base, which we actually hasn't, we haven't given a check now. I'm just going to say this, Twin. If Do you what? have Traveler Wings? I have them on me, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything to jump out. But if there is a nuclear missile or just a missile on top of his base, I give you full permission to jump straight out and take that missile and just run. <laughs> <laughs> just literally run. Uh, because we're, we're, we, we have more experience than him with the nuclear bomb missile because we kind of mess around with it a bit more. So... He might not know that you have to have a certain amount of blocks to it. Well, he can launch yeah. it from there. It just has like a 50-50 chance of not working. All right, we'll head over and see. But if it, if it is there, jump. Okay? <laughs> right, so we coming up straight in this base, are we? Oh, yeah. Yep, I see it's the right here. Oh, okay. Okay, missile, go on. Load in. Oh, nope. The helicopter's still there. Hasn't moved. That's a good sign. And two of his helicopters there. Does that mean he's home? If he's home, he's not doing anything. Maybe not, anyway. He might uh, be home. I... Oh my god, the amount of meteorites that has fell yeah, on his face! <laughs> Holy smokes! Okay. Um, That's great. I don't see him. <laughs> kind of worried. I don't either. Now is the time to think, does he have literally any other sort of base? Even if it was just a food base, that could be potentially the base where he's launching from. Anything. Um, I know his friend has a has a base right over there right like a 234 okay right that yeah. way friend ally friend it's the hits his teammate he just has a different he has a separate base right here on the cell so same the same team okay that's yeah that's definitely important um okay where 234 head 234 is right his teammate devatron yeah he's online they're both online just saying 
Right, here's his base, but I'm not okay, seeing there's a there's there's as well. Okay, let's see. What's it? Where? Oh, I see it. it. Has vines over it. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Now, this is his base, or they share it, or they have two bases? This is Devatron's little vault, and J Tom's vault is the one that me and him made over there. I'm not seeing a single sign of anything here. No, I'm here. not either. And they're both online. And we're in the chunk, so if they're down below us, they should load in. Uh, so he okay, is here. good news. Qu yeah, literally, J-Tom just said, quick question, who's flying? Don't say a word, don't say a word, don't say a word, because he can't see who it is, so he might be scared to shoot it down in case it's Devatron or something. Where is he, though? Because have you noticed? He's not on the surface. He's on the ground. He can hear it. Yes. yes. Where? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's not shooting it down, though. We have, a pl we have plenty of health. He's just looking up. Oh, is he going to shoot it? He has a gun out. Yeah, he's got his golden gun. Is that a heavy... Is that a flans gun? Because if it's flans gun, I don't think it'll do any damage. I don't... I'm not sure. I don't think it, Hello. I don't think it is flans. All right. He doesn't look like he's up to anything yet. Or maybe he already has it done and waiting around and teasing and just waiting. Yo, if you want, you can you can go for it and try to take him out. Should I? Yeah. If he has... Oh, like, he's not going to... Could, you could try. Go for it, buddy. You know what I mean? But you're on your own. You're literally going right. in behind enemy lines, and I cannot collect you. It's all good. You might have to steal oh. one of... Okay, all right. I'll try to be your spotter. He's distracted by the helicopter. Basically, try to see if you can take him out. Take some of his stuff. Jump in that helicopter, and you're out, buddy. Oh, he's not... He, he left that area. He's oh, there. he's here. He's Has he seen you? He's not... He's, I think he's, like, AFK-ish type looking. He's not even moving right now. Oh, assassinate him. Just get in the freaking helicopter and go. Oh, did you just assassinate him? Do I take his stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah, take some. Yeah, we're at war. Take his stuff. Take his stuff. Take his stuff. <laughs> take his stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry. How did he not? Like, what? Did he just walk inside? Get in that helicopter. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, God. This is kind of scary. Marked, this is so fun. helicopter. Get in it. Get in it. <laughs> yes, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's probably... Oh, God. He hasn't said anything in chat. All right, do you know the way, do you know the way to get home? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, sweet. Nice one. I didn't read you much to look out for you, but we might as well take him out and try to slow down the process of him blowing up our base. And also, this might... Actually, I just realized this is probably going to trigger him to do it, but, like, it's fine. Who cares? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Devraturn just said, J-Tom, did you get wrecked by bandits? He just said, J-Tom, just said, Ryan, to win. <laughs> All right, you getting out there? Yeah, I'm right, out of here. Head back to base. Base two. Home two. Okay? All right. We have so many homes. <laughs> head back to home two. I will need to take this... To the main base. I'm getting out of it because he's probably going to grab the freaking rocket launcher and try to take me down. <laughs> go, go, go. Did he have any nuclear bomb or any bombs on him or anything like that? What's his inventory like? Small warhead, strong assembly missile, cluster missile, small thruster. Like, he has all these uh, template making, things. He's not, he hasn't made the bombs. He's still making them. He's oh, still oh making the bombs. Oh, my God. He is, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he hasn't messed us. He's still making the bombs. He has, that, we're looking for nothing. I bet you any money. We're actually looking for nothing. Is he even going to bomb us today? I don't know. Or maybe he's making more. But, <laughs> Who knows? Because he had a ton of stuff to make them on, on paper. Oh. Okay. Right. Well, I guess we'll see what happens now in a few minutes when we anger him. Yeah. Right, I'm going to head home. I'll speak to you in a bit, okay? GG. All right. GG. All right, guys. We are going to head home. Let's see if J-Tom is faking or not. Or was he just making bombs right now? And maybe we've just killed him. So maybe there won't be any bombs. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode will be the deciding factor if the, will, if the base will be getting blown up or not. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Camp it out or pretty much wait for him to message us. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here. Thank you very much for watching.